Today's video will review 10 questions you may see on the private pilot written exam regarding airworthiness requirements. Most of the answers to these questions can be found in FAR Part 91. Question 1. Who is responsible for ensuring appropriate entries are made in maintenance records indicating the aircraft has been approved for return to service? According to FAR Part 91.405, each owner slash operator of an aircraft shall ensure that maintenance personnel make appropriate entries in the aircraft maintenance records indicating the aircraft has been approved for return to service. The correct answer to question 1 is C. Question 2. To determine the expiration date of the last annual aircraft inspection, a person should refer to the According to FAR Part 91.417, Aircraft maintenance records contain the current inspection status of the aircraft, including the time since the last inspection required by the inspection program under which the aircraft and its appliances are maintained. The correct answer is A. Question 3. No person may use an ATC transponder unless it has been tested and inspected within at least the preceding. According to FAR Part 91.413, no person may use an ATC transponder unless, within the preceding 24 calendar months, the ATC transponder has been tested and inspected. The correct answer is A. Question 4. When must the battery in an emergency locator transmitter ELT be replaced or recharged if the battery is rechargeable? According to FAR Part 207, Batteries in an emergency locator transmitter must be replaced or recharged if the battery is rechargeable after 50% or one half of their useful life. The correct answer is B. Question 5. Unless otherwise specifically authorized, no person may operate an aircraft that has an experimental certificate. According to Section C of FAR Part 91.319, unless otherwise authorized by the administrator in special operating limitations, no person may operate an aircraft that has an experimental certificate over a densely populated area or in a congested airway. The correct answer is A. Question 6. If an alteration or repair substantially affects an aircraft's operation in flight, that aircraft must be test flown by an appropriately rated pilot and approved for return to service prior to being operated. According to FAR Part 91.407, no person may carry any passengers, other than crew members, until an appropriately rated pilot with at least a private pilot certificate flies the aircraft and logs the maintenance performed and logs the flight into the aircraft records. The correct answer is C. Question 7. An aircraft's annual inspection was performed on July 12th, this year. The next annual inspection will be due no later than. Annual aircraft inspections are due one year later at the end of the calendar month in which the initial inspection was completed. In this case, suppose the inspection was performed on July 12, 2023. The annual inspection would be due July 31st. 2024. The correct answer is B. Question 8. Completion of an annual condition inspection and the return of the aircraft to service should always be indicated by. According to FAR Part 91.417, documentation of an annual condition inspection should always be logged in the aircraft maintenance records. The correct answer is A. Question 9. A parachute must have been packed by a certificated and appropriately rated parachute rigger within the preceding. According to FAR Part 91.307, an emergency use parachute must have been packed by a certificated and appropriately rated parachute rigger within the preceding 180 days. The regulations do say that the parachute must have been packed by an appropriately rated parachute rigger within the preceding 60 days if the parachute is composed of silk. The regulations regarding parachute rigging are a bit unclear, but we did confirm with FAA study material that the best answer for this question is 180 days. This question used to refer to chair-type parachutes, 
but the FAA recently changed the regulations to say emergency use parachutes. The correct answer is A. Question 10. How long is a certificate of aircraft registration valid for? The answer to this question can be found in FAR Part 47. Certificates of aircraft registration are valid for seven years after the last day of the month in which the certificate was issued. The correct answer is C. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe for more flight training and aviation related educational videos.